Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you have ever encountered this frustrating error while browsing the web or managing your website, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll explain what the HTTP error 500 internal server error means, explore common causes, and most importantly, show you how to fix it. So let's get started. What does HTTP 500 internal server error mean? First things first, what exactly is an HTTP 500 internal server error? Well, it's a common HTTP status code that tells us something has gone awry on the web server side. When you encounter this error, it means that the server has encountered an unexpected issue or configuration problem that's preventing it from fulfilling your request. It's like the server's way of saying, Houston, we have a problem. Common problems and causes. Now that we know what it is, let's explore some common problems that can trigger this error. It's essential to understand these causes because they'll help us troubleshoot effectively. Here's a list of potential culprits. Corrupted browser cache, temporary connectivity issues, syntax errors or incorrect rules in the website's htaccess file, incorrect file and folder permissions, wrong PHP version for the website, corrupted htaccess file, corrupted website's database, problems with WordPress themes and plugins, exhausted PHP memory limit on the website, corrupted WordPress core files, large files on your website, problems with the MySQL server, how to fix the 500 internal server error. Now the million dollar question, how do we fix the 500 internal server error? Since its origins are so diverse, you may need to troubleshoot multiple potential issues. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. How to fix as a visitor. If you're a visitor encountering this error, here are some quick checks you can perform. Reload the page. Clear your browser cache and cookies. Visit the website using another network. How to fix from the website. Now, if you're the website owner, here's how to fix it from your end. Check the error logs of the website. Reset file and folder permissions. Change the PHP version. Inspect or regenerate the HD access file. Repair the database or fix the database credentials. Disable plugins for your WordPress website. Change the theme for your WordPress website. Increase the PHP memory limit of the website. Restore a backup of the website. Check if your website contains large files. Contact the web hosting provider. In conclusion, the HTTP 500 internal server error might be mysterious and frustrating, but armed with the right knowledge and troubleshooting steps, you can tackle it head on. Remember, it can originate from various sources. So don't give up if the first fix doesn't work. UltaHost offers 24-7 support for your problems. Check our website and you'll never have to solve your problems alone again. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, leave a comment below. Until next time.